draft season is uh, pretty much upon us. So I wanted to kind of dive into um, a possible uh, theory that I have that I think makes a lot of sense. Um, CJ Stroud, could he be a Raider? Is it possible that he could go to the Raiders? Um, you look at it, and uh, I, I remember I was sent it to a buddy of mine um, like months ago. He's, a lot of people are unsure about Stroud, like what he can do in the NFL. You know, he, he's he got um, some inconsistencies. You saw that at Ohio State. He's got, you know, some – Sometimes he's he's got rough situations under the pressure. Obviously, he was great in that Peach Bowl game, which means he's going to be like a top four draft pick here, the second quarterback taken off the board, most likely, if not the first. Um, but I remember saying this. Uh, uh, they were like, how can he succeed? How can he succeed? And I was like, can you imagine if he went to the Raiders or something? And, they were like, well, and I was like, you know, they got Derek Carr. But now the fact that they've released Derek Carr, that opens a possible window that this could actually be done. And there's a lot of routes that, that could be taken where this could be done. Um, uh, they're currently with this. They have the seventh, seventh overall pick currently. So um, if they were to just take that seventh, if they were to package it to the Colts or like a team before I, Colts probably won't take it because they want Stroud, but if they're able to package it with like a team in, uh, in that window up there, like maybe the Bears and swoop into one to get him possibly. I think C.J. Stroud works unbelievably well with this offense, with what they have there. Um, if you were to put him on this Raiders team, it would be similar to Ohio State where you just have a stacked offensive game plan, something that I think he would need to succeed. And, you know, I'm not saying that he couldn't go to a team and just turn them all the way around without key weapons. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying – uh, for the type of player he is, where he played, the receiving core, the the skill players around him, uh, going to the Raiders would be a very like similar and smooth um, transition for him. Very similar and smooth transition for him. So, uh, if you look at the weapons that they have, you have um, Darren Waller, who's a great tight end, um, probably top three tight end in this league, maybe top four. Um, Hunter Renfro, great slot receiver, hard worker. He gets numbers. He puts numbers in. He gets stuff done. He's a good player. And then you maybe have one of the best receivers in the league, if not the best, uh, in Devontae Adams. So that's and and if we go to the run game, you have a guy like Josh Jacobs to carry the load running the ball. So you have a stacked stacked offense in this position, and you have a good coach that has worked well with quarterbacks in the future. The guy that literally was the guy with Tom Brady for years in Josh McDaniels. So I see a good fit here. And, you know, obviously it's it's a long shot that this happens. It's a long shot. I think it makes sense. I think that if, if I'm with the Raiders organization, this is the move I'd make. But um, if they have a chance to get Aaron Rodgers, if they have a chance to uh, – Maybe get Jimmy G. I've heard speculation on Jimmy G more than Aaron Rodgers because they're going to have to trade for Aaron Rodgers. They'd also have to trade up to get Stroud, but less. Um, but yeah, if you if you're if you got a shot at getting one of those two guys, obviously this isn't going to happen. But this would be a good piece. This is also this is going to set you up for your future. And um, Stroud, I think under the circumstances, he'd be a really good player. So, you know, it's an interesting question to ask and to think about going into this draft season is, is it possible Stroud could be a Raider? Because I think that uh, if you look at it, if you take time, if you look at what's happened with Carr, they have they have pretty much no other uh, um, quarterback on roster right now. And you could, you could say that the only big hole other than some certain defensive issues – the biggest hole on this team is at that position. If you look at all their skill guy, other skill guys, and also you've had, I as I said about Derek Carr earlier, you've had a guy like Derek Carr since 2014. This would be a great new fresh start, uh, more exciting quarterback, obviously, uh, for a market like Vegas too. This would be a great fit going from OSU, one of the biggest um, school like media fan base schools in the country, to a city like Las Vegas. I mean, it'd be an interesting transition, it, um, but 
we'll see. You know, we'll continue to see as the draft goes. But I just, you know, I think this would be really interesting if they could pull it off. Um, but obviously, if they have the shot at Aaron Rodgers or Jimmy G, I'd probably, you know, I don't know. I'd probably want to go with one of them over this. But this would set up your future if you're there. And, you know, who knows how long Aaron Rodgers is going to play. Who knows about Jimmy G's health. The one thing that's really never been a concern with C.J. Stroud is his health so far. And he's a young guy. So, and he keeps getting better. That's another thing. So, I think this would be a smooth fit with them. Uh, I'd love to see it happen. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll continue to do draft videos and we'll just see uh, what happens and if it comes close to it.